Three years later, there is new fallout from the botched 2019 raid on Harding Street and the disgraced former officer at the center of it. A man convicted on possession of a controlled substance based on testimony from Gerald Goins may have his conviction overturned. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker live at the Harris County Courthouse with the very latest. Taisha. Frederick Jeffrey is going to be released later today on a PR bond after serving five years behind bars. I'm going to hug him and take him to eat him a big, big lunch, dinner, whatever he wants. That's what he's going to get today. <laughs> He'll get the raw treatment. That's what he's going to get. That was Jeffrey's mother, Tina Baldwin, who says she knew her son was innocent since day one. Jeffrey could be heard in court saying hi, mom, when he saw her this morning. Today, a judge told Jeffrey that his case was, quote, sad and, quote, we're going to get you out as fast as we can. Jeffrey was arrested and sentenced to 25 years in prison for possession of a controlled substance back in October of 2018. He was convicted solely on the affidavit from former HPD officer Gerald Goins. Goins Goins is facing murder charges for engaging in a narcotic scheme and fake drug buy that led to the deaths of Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas during a raid of their Harding Street home back in 2019. As a result of Goins false testimony, prosecutors say Jeffrey's case may get overturned. He will be released. Uh, I think there might be some minimal conditions uh, and we have to wait for the Court of Criminal Appeals to affirm the judge's recommendation that his conviction be overturned. During that time, he's still technically in custody, but he's not incarcerated. Uh, and if the Court of Criminal Appeals agrees that uh, his conviction never should have happened to begin with, uh, his conviction will be overturned and the state of Texas will officially dismiss his case. And prosecutors say there are 160 cases where Gerald Goins was the sole witness. He is, prosecutors are asking those uh, people who received a letter notifying them of that to come forward to try to file a case here to possibly get their cases and their charges overturned. That's the latest here from downtown. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.